some Mariners news ahead of the GM meetings that are going on currently. Obviously, we know about Stephen Vogt becoming the Cleveland Guardians manager and Teoscar Hernandez not getting extended the qualifying offer. There are some comments from DePoto today that elaborate a little bit on these ideas, courtesy of Ryan Divish on Twitter. So we're just going to head on over to his Twitter feed and kind of just scroll for a second and enjoy ourselves. Per Jerry DePoto, the Mariners had planned to move Stephen Vogt to a bench coach role, which would have been sick. But of course, now he's with the Guardians. Good luck to vote over there in Cleveland. He will be a great, like you can just tell. He is going to be a great manager. Best of luck to him. There is some interesting movement here with the coaches. Tony Arnrich to a bullpen coach role. Obviously, he was the second hitting coach with Jarrett DeHart. And they want to bring in another hitting coach to pair with Jarrett DeHart again as a hitting coach. So, a little bit of more moving parts there. Expect more news as obviously as the offseason goes on. But that's all that really is needs to be said about Stephen Vogt going to Cleveland. Pretty much. Next one. The qualifying offer with Teoscar Hernandez. $20 million for a 105 WRC plus guy. I'm not mad that they didn't offer it to him because it is... I wouldn't say it's a non-zero chance that he would accept it. But some reasoning here. Depoto said one of the reasons they didn't offer the qualifying offer to Teo is trying to find a way to cut down on the strikeouts in their lineup. 211 of them last year. It's not... It, 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 that was a ton. Okay. It was a lot of strikeouts. They're looking for hitters. Preferably right-handed that can provide offensive impact with less swing and miss. More contact heavy guys, preferably right-handed. So, you know, the middle of the pack kind of left-handed bats on the market, consider them not what they're having their eyes on the prize for. Obviously the upper end, like the Cody Ballingers and the Shohei Otanis, if they want to come to Seattle, then there will be room made for them in terms of the left-handed hitting department, okay? Divish elaborated here as well ideally the right-handed hitter would play a corner outfield spot and he wouldn't rule out more of a full-time dh if that addressed what is needed so that would include guys like lourdes guriel jr jorge soler or two like those two guys to me stand out the most in terms of right-handed hitters in the outfield can dh guriel more than soler because soler does have a bit more strikeouts but again soler would probably just want to you'd want him to be a dh anyways so boomstick 2.0 basically baby boomstick he's not going to put up nelson cruz numbers but soler guriel jr keep them on your radars depoto talking about being asked about shohei divish said it's the their traditional you know shohei commentary from a gm other point of interest here for tom murphy and cal raleigh they want to bring murphy back which bodes well because i think it'd be dumb for them not to they just acquired blake hunt from the Rays yesterday in a trade. They had to trade Tatum Levens. So they traded minor, minor, minor league catching depth all the way down in single A for a guy that played in AAA last year for catching depth. It makes sense from an organizational standpoint. You want more major league ready depth to be Cal's backup just in case Tom Murphy does not come back. And that's kind of what Divish is hinting at here with he's going to get interest from other teams. Talking about starting pitching, DePoto said that Marco and Emerson Hancock are healthy and will report to spring training ready to go. Very exciting stuff for both of them. Robbie Ray, not until after the All-Star break. I think that's kind of the same timeline that we've been in. Maybe it was pre-All-Star break, but now it's confirmed post-All-Star break for Robbie Ray. Not my favorite news of the day, but it is one of those things where we kind of saw it coming. Marco and Emerson Hancock, hey, if they're competing for the five out of spring training... You know, maybe they have Wu start out in the bullpen or they have him in the minors. So who knows, right? Who knows But when it comes to that time. But or maybe Marco and Emerson Hancock, they'll be in the bullpen. They'll be the long arm out of the pen like Flexen was at the beginning of the year in 2023. These comments from DePoto talking with Mr. John Paul Morosi. A little bit of interesting stuff there. I don't want to play it because whatever. But talking about expectations for Jared Kelnick, how he's a sponge and how he's going to continue to grow in 2024 is an expectation that they have. Poto talking about how he feels confident with his guys in the core positions and how there's certain things that they want to address in terms of free agency needs and just offseason needs in general, which is he mentions in this again, the contact more approach and right-handed hitting, preferably playing the outfield. And the final part here that DePoto talks about is that he was done most recently before reaching John Paul Morosi and having a conversation that they just got done talking about Logan Gilbert. Morosi asked if other GMs had reached out to him about Gilbert and DePoto didn't shy away from the fact that he's been talking about him. That does not necessarily mean that he's trading him, but conversations are being had. And DePoto also goes on to say that, hey, you know, we've got a lot of young 
promising pitching talent on our team. Of course, people are going to talk about it. It is just the nature of the game. So don't fully read into those comments that, oh, Logan Gilbert's gone. Uh, you know, I actually just got finished talking about Logan, but to be fair, I was sitting in our suite with our group talking about the fact that he is the consummate mariner. I would agree if we were to trade Logan Gilbert, I would be sad, but there are some free agents on the market that the Mariners could theoretically go out and sign to replace him in that role of the number three, you know, high-end guy on the staff, like Blake Snell or maybe like a Sonny Gray. So Colton has a video on the screen right now talking about the top free agent pitchers that he'd like to see the Mariners maybe go out and sign depending on certain situations. So go check out that one if you have not watched it already. Thank you guys for watching this one and go Mariners.